The Environment Agency has decided to retain the current closed season on English rivers and here's everything you need to know. Oh no, it's a keeper. <laughs> wow. What is happening guys? Thanks for joining me down here today. We're going to be talking about the new, well it's not new, it's been around for a very long time now. Uh, the closed season on rivers, some canals, you know what I mean, not really many though. Most canals you can go fishing the closed season sort of thing. But yeah, we're going to be talking about all that today. The Environment Agency obviously mentioned this the other day. It's all, literally all brand new information from a big massive poll that they did, um, was it the start of this year, last year sort of thing. So yeah, let's get into it man, see what they've said. The decision follows a detailed review of the evidence and response provided to a public consultation which indicated that removing the closed season would pose a risk to coarse fish in some locations. The closed season for coarse fishing on rivers introduced in 1878, absolutely never knew that. It is enforced from the 15th of March to the 15th of June. It aims to reduce the risk of spawning fish caused by angling. The review also showed that amending the start and end date of the closed season would increase protection for the fish that spawn later and would, and would increase the risk for those that spawn early. Support among anglers for retaining a closed season and its removal is finely balanced and an eight week public consultation received 13,680 responses with 38% of anglers supporting retaining the current closed season 9% supporting a retained closed season but changing the dates to 15th of April to the 30th of June and 49% supporting the remaining of the closed season altogether 2% undecided or didn't respond we want in that 2% because we did respond I like my river fishing you know I can imagine quite a lot of people do as well the responders were invited to provide evidence to support the view. The Environment Agency has assessed that evidence alongside other considerations and decided that there is not a case for changing the current closed season. In addition, the Environment Agency supplied a consultation. The experience of the Environment Agency's own fishing farm at Calverton has shown that some species, notably chub and barbel, are at most risk and very sensitive to disturbance. Where disturbed, spawning females may reabsorb their eggs rather than spawning elsewhere or later. Kevin Austin, Deputy Director of Fisheries at the Environment Agency said, we are really grateful to those people that took the time to respond to the consultation. We have analyzed many comments of the 13,680 people that responded under the evidence and the opinions around the closed season. Given the limited amount of further evidence on the risk of coarse fishing, and other fish stocks. We have decided to retain the closed season. Controversial, but I guess if, do you know what I mean? If they've got evidence to support these findings, you know, I can imagine it's, it's probably a good thing. We would like to thank the Joint Angling Trust Institute and Fisheries Management Study Group for its work to correlate, analyze, and interpret the available evidence on the closed season. This enabled an informed public debate while the group concluded a more risk-based approach may be possible, our priority is to find the right balance between angling and protecting the fish stocks. The current closed season is risk-based and maintains protection of the majority of coarse fish. We recognise that some anglers will be disappointed by the outcome, while others will welcome it. This reflects our shared passion for angling. We will continue to work with partners to consider any new information on the closed season and when it becomes available. So yeah guys, that's literally everything that they've got on the Environment Agency website. Like it, like it does say in there, some people will find this like a bit of a nightmare. Some people will welcome it, you know what I mean? Personally, if, if it does protect the fish and the stocks of fish, you know what I mean? Then especially barbel and chub man, because they are two beautiful fish to catch right there. It's probably a good thing, you know? So yeah guys, I hope that gives you an in-depth analysis on everything that is going on at the moment with the Environment Agency. 
if you took part in this why not go down below comment your thoughts on on this whole thing you know what i mean but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye